Hey guys, this is my hello, and this is Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. In the last episode, we found out that Team Rocket is back, and they're still evil. So, and they're like, you know, cutting off Slowbook's tail since I guess they're tasty and nutritious. I mean, they're also expensive too. So we are, you know, they're poachers now, so... I used to repel just now, so... Oh, look at... Yes, this time Team Rocket has their own, you know, music. And I like it! Darn! I was standing guard up top when some old poop yelled at me. He sorted me so much that I fell down here. I think I'll find my anger while taking that on you! You evil. And Team Rocket has their own battle music, which I like very much! Yes! Uh, I also like the remix in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Like, so rock you know, oriented, but yeah, I like this song. I like this! I don't like how he has a Rattata because Pazuzu cannot do anything against the Rattata. I mean, I guess maybe put it to sleep. I guess I'll show off Mean Nug, even though it has no effect on Rattata since these people don't, you know, switch their Pokemon out and in. Yeah, that's what it, the animation is like. I love this music. I just love it. It's so freaking epic and I get your blood, blood pumping as you fight against these evil people. Oh, by the way, when you wake up this time, you don't waste your time waking up. You attack as soon as you wake up, so that's a plus and a minus in some cases. Yeah. Okay. He's in another editor, so let's not use Pazuzu. Eh, I don't, as I said, you know, Pazuzu can be temporary, so I shouldn't be too worried about leveling it up, so... I can keep him one level behind, maybe. Let's keep it. Let's throw out Bakufan. Ember's ass! Or his face. Same thing. Level 15! Bakufan can do level 15! Joy! Nurse Joy! And he defeated Rocket Grunt. Alright, this is not my day! So yeah, that's Team Rocket. Sure, we've been hacking the tails off Slowbook and selling them. Everything we do is for profit. That's right, we're Team Rocket and we'll do anything for money! You bastards! You greedy bastards! Oh, here's another required training. Team Rocket Battle. Stop the tails! Stop the tails! Yeah, just try to defeat all of us! This time, there's a separate, you know, like in the previous game, it's like, you know, Team Rocket Grunts all the same. This time, there are male Team Rocket Grunts, you know, and female Team Rocket Grunts. So there's, there's just some variety here. Still the same fucking, uh, you know, still the same epic music. So, Zubat. Let's hit music noses. Yeah, go to sleep, Zubat. Yeah, I don't care if you know, not turn off. And it's still night time. Actually, whatever. Yeah, so this might be a bit slow, so faster. You can attack it faster. Yeah, so I just love this music. I mean, I love the music in this game. It's so freaking cool. I like it. I mean, there's some music choices that I kind of find questionable sometimes, but I'll point them out. But I love the music here. Especially like, you know, the rival music, which I love, and the Team Rocket music. And so it's the Team Rocket encounter like, music that goes like, goes like, da 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 However, you may grow tired of it because it's possible to grow tired of it because of this. I'll tell you about it. So here we have Ekans, another poison type. Eh, yeah, whatever. I don't think Ekans knows rap, which isn't broken anymore. Oh, it doesn't poison thing, right? One damage. <laughs> I th is the chances of um, poisoning a Pokemon based on resistances as well? Because Pazuzu hasn't been poisoned at all. Then again, oh, that's why. Because Pazuzu is a poison type, so it won't get poisoned like that. That's why, right? Right? I don't know. I'm not a master of Pokemon, you know, logic or whatever. I mean, I mean, I'm not Bulbapedia, Bulbapedia is itself. Yeah. So, we can we can kill that Ekans any time now, Pazuzu. Come on, you can possess, you know, girls and you know, make them go crazy and apeshit and all this stuff, but you can't, you know, kill Ekans quickly. I mean, come on. Move faster. Dude. You know that, I mean, 
new edition of, I mean, they kind of had this new edition of The Exorcist on a DVD release. You rotten brat! And they added this one scene in, you know, the spider crawl scene. Dude, that was so freaking creepy. I mean, that was just, that scene alone, that's a new scene in, man! Snubbuck tails grow back fast! Let's find a selling them! It's called poaching! Poaching! It's evil! And you find a super potion! That's not evil! Team Rocket is! So here we have another rocket. Hi. Who's taking Slowbuck Tales? If you bid you, Team Rocket's rapidly ruined! Wasn't it already ruined by this one guy named Milo three years ago? I mean, his name isn't Milo anymore, but we'll see. So here's another grunt. Here's another. Uh! Great. Rabbit says, well, let's just predict this game. But as, and if you miss, well, it, it, you know, it can't harm us, so we, you know. Let's bring out, you know, Onigama. By the way, these Team Rocket Battles, I said I wanted to switch. These Team Rocket Battles are required in this you know, dungeon since they all happen to look at you, you know, and just, you know, happen to see you. So, no cutting out here. Let's just kill this Radita. Yay! Radita's dead! Radita's dead! I'm so glad Radita's dead! Oh, you're not Fury Swipes! Okay, Fury Swipes is um, a normal attack. Okay, see ya. It um, attacks 2-5 to five times in a turn. It's... If you make it hit 5 times, it's pretty good, I guess? Like, Fury Swipes I think has 18 base power for each swipe. But um, if you like, you know, haven't hit it, you know, 5 times it's like, you know, 90. If it, uh, if it hits two times, it's like, you know, 36, so it's kind of, it depends on luck a little bit, but, um, yeah, I mean, if it hits five times, you're good. Four times, you're, you know, still good, you know, 72, which is, you know, good base power-wise. And, you know, since, you know, Onigama's a freaking bad for attack, that's freaking good. I mean, that's pretty much Onigama's focus, attack, since, you know, it is going to be going to, to be a physical sweeper. Duh. So, yeah. Dude, I also love their Heart Golden Souls. Ah, oh, already. Yeah, whatever. I like a lot of their Heart Golden Souls over remixes, too. Like the one for, you know, Dark Cave, for example. That's so freaking ambient and so freaking badass and cool. I love it. <laughs> I'm a big fan of radio video game music. I end up raving about it sometimes. Like, that's. Like, that's one thing I like about the Final Fantasy series. Even though I've never played a lot of the Final Fantasy games, I've seen, I mean, I've watched them. I mean, one thing I love about the Final Fantasy games is the music. Nobu Umatsu, Uematsu. I don't know how you do it. I mean, you don't, you don't do it that much anymore, but still. So just this here, so it's one. Ooh, not bad. Huh. <laughs> that's pretty nice. Yeah, so one thing I really love about the Final Fantasy games is the music. For example, Final Fantasy VI has Terror's theme, and then it goes like do 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 Aria D Mezzo Kara Kara And of course Dancing Mad, duh. Final Fantasy VII has, you know, Birth of a God, it's boss battle music, and of course Wandering Angel. Final Fantasy VIII has, you know, it's boss battle music as well, as well as, you know, Magic Machine Gun and Extreme. And Final Fantasy X has, you know, Duzanarkin, Sutaki Dane, you know, Seymour's battle theme, Orange theme and all this stuff. We need the money, but selling Slowpoke Tales is tough being a rocket. Uh! That's why I used a lot of Team Rocket, you know, I mean, Final Fantasy music in my previous Let's Play for epic battles or whatever. Alright, so let's go on. We defeated these three rocket uhs! The slope of his tail cut off. That's so sad. Why not? Man, read it. Why not? Let's see. Be good and look after the house with Grandpa and Slope. Oh, Dad. She is a dad after all. Yeah. That's pretty touching. Here's another slope hook. The slope of his tail cut off. Oh, You bastard! How dare you cut your tails off? What do you want? If you interrupt our work, don't expect him any mercy. This in Hardcore and Soul Silver. This guy is actually Proton, a special rocket, but hold on, be right back. Sorry about that interruption, but yeah, had to be done, so I'm back. So here we have the last rocket grunt who's apparently in charge of all of this, you know, monstrosity poaching in the Slowpoke well. In Hardcore and Soul Silver, this is a rocket executive named um, Proton. His Pokemon are kind of the same, except he has two Pokemon, so he has a Zubat, so it's not the same. So let's bring it on Rocket, uh, and he has a level 14 coughing. 
This guy knows poison, I mean, poison gas, smog, and tackle. Which can get me? Yeah. Fear stuff doesn't have the best accuracy. Yeah. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna try the paralyzing coughing because. It, there we go. Let's get. Well. That's it, the magic works, I guess. Of course, I can always try to poison me. I guess. See how this moves. See how smoothly the smoke moves? Anyway, so. I think the thing about coughing is that it's a physical wall. I mean, then its defense is freaking high. Special defense, not so. And Onikuma has just gotten poisoned. That's just great. I love that. Uh. All right, just use more fury swipes and take it out. Good. You don't get poisoned, you know. You don't get. You don't be crying in pain during the battle. That's the spirit. Go Onikuma. Guma. So he just defeated the last rocket. Fine, grunt. I did that all grunting thing again for a while. I knew, you know, third time's a charm and all. You did okay today! We'll wait till next time! Till next time, bros. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, Team Rocket was broken up three years ago. But we continued our activities underground. Oh, really? Jeez, you sneaky bastards. Even after Giovanni, like, you know, fled like a chicken. Now you can have fun watching us stir up trouble! So prepare for trouble, make it double! <laughs> oh, but, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm gone. Way to go, Milo! My back is miraculously healed just in time for you to like do all the work for me! Anyway, Team Rock is taking off! My back's better too! Let's get out of here! Why not? This place is gonna get depressing. Oh, okay, so, let's see. Oh, our Pokemon is fully healed! How considered, you know, teleportation device? I mean, hurt? I mean, however the hell we got healed? Hi, Milo! You handled yourself like a real hero at the well. I like your style. I like your style too. I mean, I like my style, yeah. I'd be honored to make balls for a trainer like you for free. This is all I have, but take it. It'll get a lure ball. Now, Kurt makes some special Pokeballs that are catered towards, you know, that, you know, work better in specific conditions. And this is what he says all the time. I make balls out of them. You have an apple for me? Fine, I'll turn it into a ball. And we have a white apricorn for him, you know. So he's gonna take a day to make an apricorn. So, what does a lure ball do? As I said, you know, the pokeballs that Kurt makes are good in you know, specific situations. So the lure ball is great for when you're fishing for Pokemon. The Pokemon that you've caught, you know, with the let's say an old rod or some other type of rod, it'll be easier to catch it with the lure ball than with a pokeball, for instance. And we give him a white apricorn, which might give us another type of pokeball. Hey, kid. By the way, your daddy's still alive. You know, he didn't run off. I think he might have run off, but still. I get to have grandpa now! We'll make good balls for you, so please wait! So what about your daddy? He is on a giant journey! Yeah, whatever. Oh? So? I'll take it. Take it. Take it. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Alright. So, that interruption kind of, you know, kind of interrupted the video a while back. It took long enough for, you know, it to be daytime! It's now 7.10 a.m. So the sun is shining, so let's greet the sun with a little song. With a little Good day sunshine. Good day sunshine. Good day sunshine. I need to laugh. And when the sun is up, I've got something I can laugh about. I feel good in a special way. I'm in love and it's a sunny day. Sorry about that. <laughs> well, that took a long while, didn't you? Who knows, level? That's really. <laughs> You're kind of slow, both physically and a bit mentally, too. But we all love you, Slowpoke. Did you come to get pretty big balls? Well, they will just do that. That's nice. So I guess these two will say different things now. Can't they say that? Oh, yeah. You say the same thing, so I don't care about you. Yeah. And what do you have to say, old man? Hey, as an old man, I want to talk to you. The storm book of return. I don't think they could have just been goofing off. Some <laughs> yeah, maybe. Goof offs. Then again, they're too slow to goof off. And hey, where's the kid? I didn't say. The storm book of return. But my apprentice hasn't come back from Highland Forest. Where in the world is that lazy guy? Hmm. I don't wonder. So. 
Now, since the rockets are gone, they are not, you know, serving us roadblocks anymore. So we can actually access this gym. So we'll take on the gym in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. This is my hello saying, see ya.